y'all, Sarah Lou Who here, and we are back again with Angels of Death. So last time we reunited Zack and Ray, and they kind of squared off in a big way. Ray tried to kill him, Zack tried to kill her, and uh, in the end, Dr. Danny was the only one who ended up dead. But they have made a pact again to have Zack kill her. But who knows how well that's going to work out. So, anywho, I'm pretty certain that we are in the last bit of the game. I'm pretty sure that we are finally at the end here. And, uh, I'm just curious to where it's going to take us. So, there's something on this floor that is supposed to lead us to our exit. And I'm thinking it has probably to do with the blue moon here because the blue moon has been, you know, like a consistent thing from the beginning. So, I'm hoping that this is it. This moon sure is convincing. Yes, it has always been night on this floor. Wish I could just smash the window and get outside. But it's fake. And let's head out to the real way out. Yep, let's go. Okay, so that's not the real way out. Dang, I thought that seemed like a common sense thing to do. Okay. Man, this floor is dark. Can't the lights just come on? Yeah, it always been dark this dark here. Actually, can't you see well in the dark? You think? Not as much as you can, though. So, Ray has night vision. Amazing! Should we, should we see what she has to say about Dr. Daddy? Hey, do you feel bad about this? I wouldn't- oh, whoa! We're actually having cutscene here. Zack? <laughs> <laughs> okay, he ain't going anywhere. Gotta just make sure. <laughs> so it seems. I mean, we did think we killed him last time. That didn't work out too well for us. <laughs> oh, poor Danny. He just wanted to live forever with rain. Absolute psychotic craziness. What about our parents? Anything to say on those? Hey, what are you staring at that thing for? Aren't you gonna ask me about it? He already knows. At this point, it's too late for me to start sweating details about all the corpses in this building. And that's that? Huh? Well, if you want me to ask, then I can do that. I'll, uh, pass on that. <laughs> Uh, I love how they're just cool with this. Okay, here's the... Ah, uh, there's a pizza under the desk. Can we eat it? Huh? Hey, this is what pissed me off the most. Oh yeah, this thing was like boiling hot, wasn't it? Huh? Now I'm off pizza for good, thanks to you. Uh, yeah. Sorry about that. I'm trying to figure out, was the pizza, like, actually hot or was it, like, spiced or something? Can we, can we see about this? What was the... What's with that explosion? I'm sorry about that, but you pulled through all right. Great. <laughs> I'm charcoal. You've already been charcoal, buddy. Ah, crap, I broke one. Stop it. <laughs> crap, broke one. Stop it. All right, maybe downstairs? Maybe the Reverend has something for us. Could that give us a hint? Hey, what gives? Let's head downstairs. Uh, Zach, is it all right if I go downstairs alone? Why? Huh? What the hell for? This will be the last time I come here. So I thought this would be a good place to say goodbye. Uh, why are you going by yourself? Um... It's embarrassing having someone else watching, I guess? Maybe that's why. Eh, eh, whatever. <laughs> Just so you know, I slaughtered those mangy mutts. Aw, you killed my puppies? Did you? Sounds like something right up your alley. <laughs> I'll keep watch, so hurry and do what you gotta go. Do. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. Was the- was she keeping the wolves because of the puppies? That she's killed? That has to be it, right? That must be the link to her past there. Ah. Uh, the music box is playing. Does that mean the lid's open? The scent of animals permeates the air. He's right, they're gone. Yeah, puppies are all dead. And somebody else did it this time. Ah, oh, reference gone. Hmm, sorry. There's not enough time to sew you up. Same for you. There's not enough time to sew any of them up. Oh, no, Reverend's still here. What up, old man? Are we cool yet? I mean, I killed everyone you've probably held dear except for Zack, so... I mean, there's that, but 
H how you feel about this, dude? <laughs> Greetings, Rachel Gardner. Uh, why? My handgun's gone. I must have dropped it in the living room. Calm down. I'm not going to kill you. <laughs> no harm shall come to you. Then, what do you want from me? Oh, I merely desired to ask you some questions, that is all. Rachel Gardner, Zack was not your god after all, correct? Um, I don't know, I'm kind of lost on that. I mean, he wasn't, but he might be again, so who knows. <laughs> uh, yes, but I've come to terms with that. Yes, or so it would seem. But is that something you truly accept in your heart? Mm, maybe? Zack and I aren't gods. We just swore oaths to each other. Precisely. Zack is no longer your god. No longer is he absolute. You have made Zack into a being that is not an angel nor a god. How shall I put it? A being who will grant your wishes without question is no more. What? T'was an oath forged with one who is not God. Betrayal is conceivable. Nevertheless, if you have faith that your oath is absolute, then how does it differ from any God? I, I'm not realizing what you're realizing here. Is it just having faith in another person? Is that what it is? I never really thought of it as absolute. Is that so? I certainly do have faith in Zack. That much is true. But our sworn oath and faith in one another is something we each decided in our hearts. Therefore, even if that is betrayed, it's my heart that has faith in him. My heart is mine alone to bear. I'm prepared to accept something different to God. I see. And yet you still desire your own death. Yes, I do. How? How can you alter your beliefs as such, yet your desire remain unchanged? Yeah, that's something I'm a little surprised about. Like, I really thought she'd be over the killing herself thing by now. I guess the guilt's too much? It's not that I myself has changed as a person. I just learned to accept myself, that's all. And I no longer want to forgive that side of myself. No one's left to forgive me. Which is why I wish to die. I can't go on living. So you need someone to forgive you? Well, could Zack forgive you? <laughs> so you have willed this upon yourself. Yes, um... The rest I better keep secret. Oh great, more secrets. <laughs> Tis a shame. Twere as if you simply renounced God. Oh? Um... Well, she kinda did. You need not stare at me so. Tis too late for that now. Have I offended you? No? <laughs> I have one final question. Who are you, Rachel Gardner? Please stop asking me that over and over. I am me, nothing more and nothing less. Oh, I see. You speak as if you stand with Zack as an equal. Well, we're both killers worthy of our own floor who have taken the lives of other killers on other floors, so I think it's pretty fair now. <laughs> that too may not be entirely mistaken. A child who is neither an angel nor a witch. There is nary a doubt in my mind that you are indeed Rachel Gardner. Yes. Is that all? If we're done here, then let me press the activation switch for the return elevator. Yes, do as you must. You won't stop me? Did I not make myself clear? I shan't stand in your way. Apart from that, Rachel Gardner, twould not hurt to have a little grace. Yeah, grace in uh, your fall. Is my music box a switch? There's a switch at the bottom of the music box. Yay! If I press this... It worked. I gotta get back to Zack. 
Well, where is it? Where? Reverend, I'm, I'm going now. Very well, I shan't stop you. Do as you must. You're very accepting of this. Reverend, is the way out on floor B2? Do you think I would tell you? For Zack's sake, maybe? I've answered many of your questions. I think it's only fair that you answer mine, Reverend. <laughs> She's got you there. Indeed. Chuck the stained glass window in the cathedral on B2. Okay. So that's our way out. So we're technically on the second story of whatever building we are then, right? Oh, come to think of it, I never did say goodbye to this place. I'm sorry. Farewell. Time to go. Do you want to say goodbye to the Reverend Zack by any chance? No? Alright. Well, Zack, now we can get back to B2. Let's head to the elevator that brought us here. Right behind you. But what the hell took you so long? Oh, I was just having a heart-to-heart -heart with your dad. Oh, the Reverend was in the basement. What? He's still around? <laughs> but he didn't do anything to interfere. What's the story with that guy, anyway? Uh, uh... What? And what is it this time? I gotta go to the living room. I may have dropped my handgun there. Ah, back then. And let's scoop it up and head to B down to B2. Okay. Is there... What's the point? We kind of killed everybody who's a threat. I hope. Uh... God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Spoke too soon! <laughs> He's gone again. What the fuck? That sneaky bastard! A monster am I? He's the real monster. Doctor? Shit. Once we pick up your handgun, but let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> this fucker's unkillable. Like, what the hell? Found it. But this won't cut it. What do you mean? You found it, right? What's wrong? The trigger's broken. Ah, Danny. It's useless, right? Yeah. Ugh. Oh well. Then let's get going. <laughs> this fucker is determined to murder us, isn't he? Hey, Zach? Huh? Were arrows flying through here, right? Uh, it looks like they didn't activate when you were chasing me. Uh, don't worry. They were flying at me before. Huh? I, I don't understand. <laughs> Are they only targeted to you? Hey, don't tell me the bastard went below. Probably. I don't think he's so willing to let Rachel go as she is to let him go. Probably so. Fuck, wish I would've sliced him into two. I don't know, he seems... No, no, he was pretty messed up in the end, wasn't he? Instead, he did go out screaming no. Although he didn't exactly go out, did he? Uh, but yeah, he... It, I don't know. It seemed like there was a moment of clarity. You know, for his situation with Rachel, but that final, you know, nose. I guess that kind of defied that, wasn't it? Alright, fuck, wish I would have sliced him into two. Well, let's get going down below for our hopefully fine looking confrontation. Hope uh, we both make it out of this in good shape. A words for each other? Oh, here we go. You ran into that preacher guy in the basement, right? Yeah. Didn't you say something about saying goodbye or something? Did you? It was really short, but yeah. Is everything over there yours? There's things I've picked up since I came here, too. Oh, then you aren't- they aren't really yours. Good question. I kind of make things mine by killing them, so they might be mine. I tried making them mine by sewing and patching them up. But dolls never answer when spoken to, so I don't know if they were really mine. Though I cared about them, so I said goodbye. Hmm. Oh, the music box is originally mine. When I was young, I guess it was the last thing they bought for me. I really loved its music. Uh, if you want it, then why didn't you just take it with you? Um, <laughs> There's no need anymore. Yeah, she's planning on dying anyway, and you can't take stuff with you, right? All of the music and my memories for it are all in my head. As long as I have that, then I don't need anything else. 
And if that's okay with you, then that works. Hmm, yeah. Are we? Yep. You ready for this, Zack? Alright, we're almost to the ground floor. Let's move. Okay. Is everything really going to be okay? We're back. You're right. Man, this shit's complicated. Okay, was it this? No, it's the glass window in the chapel, right? That big old one right over there. I'm pretty sure he said something about the cathedral stained glass. Let's go see, shoot. There's blood there. Was that blood always there? Should we be concerned about that? Probably. <laughs> uh, the stained glass window in the middle is the biggest. I want to check it out, but the organ is somewhat in the way. Zack, you do have those amazing super strengths. Would you move it for me? You need the organ out of the way, right? Yeah. Ugh, damn, it must weigh a fucking ton. Danny seemed to move it just fine getting in and out. Hey, a little help here. Stop staring and help. <laughs> uh... Uh, don't uh, get your ass over here and help me push. You, you got it. Teamwork, yay! Ah, uh, man, my arms feel like jello. It sure was heavy. Hey, is there really a way out here? I'm not sure. That reverend, I wouldn't take him for a liar. He was nice enough to take me to the floors below, too. Ah, uh, even so. Okay, fine. Let's just give it a look, then. I mean, he drugged me, but other than that, he was okay. Eh? What's that? A keyhole. A keyhole? Great, we need to find a key. <laughs> yeah, so the way out must be on the other side, but it's locked. Ah, uh, no key. Where could it be? Hey, Ray. What? Hmm? Do I smash it, Zack? <laughs> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh yeah, way ahead of you. Hey, stand back. Smash it! Doors aren't for opening, they're for smashing. Yeah! <laughs> Yay. Oh, so beautiful. Now how's Danny going to ruin this? And that's how it's done. Yeah, wow. And... What? You, uh, aren't impressed anymore, I take it. Sorry, it's old news. Is it now? There's something on the floor here. Oh, nope, it's just it's just glass. Oh, oh yes, so much glass. I thought it was something to grab. All right, let's move on out. What's up with my leg? Was that always like that? It looks like I have a bandage on it. Man, these stairs go on forever. You're right. I just remembered. Oh, what is it this time? When I came here, I was blindfolded the whole time. It's vague, but I have memories of going down a really long staircase. Which means these stairs should lead us to the surface in no time. Well, let's get going. No kidding? It's about damn time. Tell me when we reach the top. So I can puke! Let's take a breather once we're out. Well, we'll have to, won't we? We'll finally have a moment of peace. Let's hurry, then. Right behind you. Whoa! Damn it! <laughs> what just happened? What the hell did you fall for? I tripped on the stairs. It hurts. You can't be tired. You slept like a log. Can you walk? Yeah, I'm fine. How the hell did you trip? Ugh, congrats for acting like a normal human being. Huh? What do you mean? Let's go and watch your step, damn it. So no running- Oh, it's because I tried running. <laughs> oh, wow. Eh. Uh, hey, we never did find that Danny bastard. Don't you think we should have found the bastard and finished him off? But I have no clue of his whereabouts. Not only that, he's been a resident of this building for who knows how long. So he no doubt knows this building like the back of his hand. Hanging around here is dangerous. That's a good point. Could pop out of the shells at any moment. God damn it. Looks like I got no choice. Zack? What? What's that? 
You know how you said earlier in the elevator that you're happy empty-handed? Here, take this. What is it? Is this your knife? Are you sure it's okay for me to use it again? It's yours. Huh? There's a chip in it, so I'm not sure it'll be any of any use. But it's better than being empty-handed, right? Uh, thanks. Just for protection purposes. <laughs> Besides, once we get out of here, it's in the bag. Let's get going. Yeah. Are they not going to bring up the fact that he said he'd kill her after... Huh? What's that? Oh my fucking god. Did he self-fucking-destruct? Yes! <laughs> the self-destruct sequence has been initiated. The tradition will commence from the basement levels. Zack, we gotta get out of here. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh shit, what the hell's happening? Bad things. Everybody move. The building's going to explode. We gotta escape or the building will collapse. Oh, come on. Oh no. Come on. The debris. We gotta figure out something here, guys. We are not going down like this. At this rate, we'll end up burned alive. We're buried in rubble. Zack! Uh, oh no, the fire. Zack? Come on. Zack, there's debris all around us. We're trapped. What are we gonna do? He's having like flashbacks, isn't he? Uh. Uh. Come on, Zack! No way in hell am I going to be burned alive! Nope, no way! Come on! Gotta break out of it, man! Zack? Come on and slap his ass or something! We have something here? Zack! This way! Zack! This way! We can get out through here! Huh? Zack, I know you can smash through here! So, I know you got this! Come on, dude. I got faith in you. Fight the fire. <laughs> uh, uh, bad news, Ray. My, uh, my legs are frozen. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Oh, the flames. Come on, figure something out. Ah, idea. Yeah. Oh, what the hell? What are you doing? Did she just throw flaming debris? It sure is hot and it burns. Looking obviously! <laughs> Zack, listen to me. I'll tell you what you can smash, and I'll find a way for us out of here. It's alright, we'll survive this. Ah, uh, move! I got this. Wonderful teamwork, go! Yeah, there you go. Alright, let's squeeze on through. Uh, uh, come on! Damn, Ray. <laughs> You're really sunk. Aww. Top limits uh, can be saved for later. Let's go, Zach. <laughs> Good thing the building's already blown, right? You got it! Let's go, Ray! I'll smash anything in our way. Alright, let's move, people. The basement floors will collapse in five minutes. Oh, joy. Here, back this one. Nice. <laughs> Here, found it. This one's breakable. Here, right. Um, it's not breakable. What about that one? Next is this one. Alright. Here we go, Zack. I'm on it. Um, we're good. Uh-oh. Not good. Crap. Oh no. We can't go any further with this in the way. Huh? Easy as pie. What? Wait, is that a ceiling collapse? Oh, wait! You know what's coming, right? Get ready! Uh, wait! Oh, good. Whoa, that was close. Dang, man. Not again! And it's just easier chucking you instead. Aww. What's your face all goofy for? Time to move! Indeed it is. Right over here. Uh, the area heads buried in debris, but this looks breakable. Nice! <laughs> Zack, keep it up! Keep up the destruction! boy. Um, shoot, here we go. Uh, the flames! If we watch our stuff, then we could possibly make it through, but... 
Hey, now, what are you dragging your feet for? If we don't make it out of here fast, we're barbecue. Zack. Okay. It's dangerous, so let's stay close. One, two, three. And good. Two. Woo! Go. Yeah, did it. We made it. Woo! The fire hasn't spread here yet. I'll let you know if I find somewhere else that's breakable. Right there. Here. Zack, break this. Hey, out of the way, huh? Boo! Oh, damn, that was a close one. Aw, oh, crap. Hang on, Zack, I'll take care of the fire. Knock it off! No need! Aw, oh, have you conquered your fear for me? <laughs> you told me I can break it. Then, there's no way in hell I can't break it right. Right, Ray? <laughs> so awesome. <laughs> See? You're right. Yeah. Let's move. He conquered his fears. This one? Zack, this looks breakable. Careful, though. It looks rigid. Huh? How the fuck do I carefully break something? Alright, just break it how you always do then. Should I just keep smashing stuff ahead, too? Yep. Go. Oh, that sound painful. Ah, son of a bitch. Zack? The blade cracked. It, is it broken? Nah, it should be fine. Let's get the hell out of here. Right here. It's breakable. Here, too. Thanks in advance. I swear. Okay, good. It's all good. Zack, we're almost at the end of the stairs. Finally. Yeah, we're almost out. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Shit. Oh no, it's caved in. Ah. Uh, hey. Ray. Think I can smash through the debris? Yep, I have total faith in you. Oh, uh. Ah. Uh, I got this. So just say the magic word, Ray. Totally believe in you, man. You got this. <laughs> Leave it to me. <laughs> this is so wonderful. It took you long enough. Yep. Break it, man. <laughs> go, 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 go. Yeah. Oh, kind of a narrow run. Zack, you're safe. Whoa, she is thick. Oh, well, I picked it up around here after all. No way. So I'll just find a replacement when we get out of here. First things first. Let's get out of here. Move it. Move! I'll ask, guys. <laughs> Did we make it? Everything good? Woo! Good, we made it. Man, this damn building was absolutely fucked up to the very end. But still, you did good, Rachel. I couldn't have done it without you. The same goes for me. <laughs> So, where are we? Zack? Yeah. One last set of doors. Let's see where it takes us, shall we? It's the way out. We did it! Now we can finally leave this dump! Zack. She wants you to kill her, remember? What? I like that you could kind of see a little blood on her hands from where she grabs the fire, I think. That's neat little attention to detail. Once we're outside, you'll kill me, right? What are you asking me that for now? Zack, is that what you want as well? She doesn't want to die. Be buddies forever, guys. See, my desire to die is unchanged, but... But you don't want to die just yet. Is it possible I want you to desire it? I want my death to be desired? Though I long for death, the thought of dying alone suddenly makes me feel so desolate on the inside. The thought of you deeply desiring my death makes me truly happy. I don't think he wants that. <laughs> Although you did just give me your knife, so I feel like I'm being selfish. Kind of are, kiddo. I gave you that knife earlier for one reason. So you survive long enough for me to kill you. Is that true? Till then, I never did a single thing for anyone in my life. No way in hell would I ever swear an oath for something I don't desire. Come on, you two. You mean it? <sighs> Damn it. Will you give it a rest? How many times do I gotta say? That you hate liars? 
Come on, what are you completing my sentences for? God dang it, they're so close to each other now. Uh, when the time comes, make sure you're ready to show me the face I want to see. You suck at smiling more than anyone I know. You got it. Uh-oh. Zack? Uh, uh uh Ray? Ray? Fucking Danny? Ray? What the hell? Zack? <laughs> oh, how dreadfully terrible. What a horrible mess. What the fuck? <laughs> you little shit! Guess who blew up the building? It's just a matter of time until flames engulf the upstairs. You bastard! Oh, the Reverend's dead too now! I just realized that! <laughs> Aren't we hot blooded despite being unarmed? <laughs> What a pity. Your promise to each other will go unfulfilled. Zack? Will it? Zack? I'm so sorry. What the hell for? Hey, snap out of it! I made a promise to you that I couldn't keep. Sorry. It's not entirely true, sweetheart. We still got a knife. Danny doesn't get this one. Cut the bullshit! Didn't I tell you I hate liars? Hey, stay with me! I'm not gonna let you go! You're trapped in it, Annie! Hopeless and powerless. And best of all, Zack, I won't let you kill Rachel. How does it feel, you guys? How does it feel to have your dreams crushed? i just love to know. Then, after that, how's about we all off ourselves? Ah, uh, shit. Zack, stop. Lying. Sorry. For fuck's sake! Don't make me a liar! I can't let you die on me! No, Zack. It's okay. You were always there for me. That's a smile. But it doesn't need to every time. What are you saying? <laughs> There's nothing more entertaining than a helpless monster. Uh, no. He's no monster, but he's no god either. Zack is human. Just like the rest of us. Eh? Nah. Well, I mean, except for you, Daddy. You're a monster. <laughs> You're human, Zack, which is why... Which is why you needn't always devote yourself to me. Be selfish, Rollins, man. Human, so what? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You don't seek devotion, Rachel. But I've devoted my all, my everything to you. The food, clothing, toys, even the floor itself was all for you. That's not what she wants, though, Danny. Yes, I gave you a place to thrive. And now you deny that? I'm sorry, Doctor, but none of that is what I wanted. Aww. Then what did Zack give you that's so special? Just some trashy knife? Or was it that ridiculous oath? An oath to ensure your death? Absolute lunacy. Despite the fact I... I tried to spare your life? Doctor, I didn't want to live that way. The truth is, I want it to be desired in life, and desired in death, even for a fleeting moment. I realized that as Zack and I made an oath and strove to leave this place, that was enough for me. So, it wasn't just about dying? Then at least show me your despair. After all, I just snatched away your oath. Shut up! Oh, do be quiet. Let me finish. Nope, not happening. Come on, guys. Doctor, you haven't snatched it away. Uh. This oath, it was sworn by Zack and I. An oath can't be stolen by someone else. At least all of them means it's complete, the oath. I'm just saying, if we're going now, why as well Romeo and Juliet this shit? Uh, uh. Even 
if it's never fulfilled, it doesn't matter since it's ours. This I know. Wait, I just can't accept that. Zack, I'll bear this so. So please don't think of yourself as a liar. Zack, I promise, doesn't have to be fulfilled. Ray? Ray? Ray! God damn you, Danny. <laughs> oh, and Rachel! If you intend to live the rest of your life with those invasive, distrusting peepers, I thought that it wouldn't matter that we can't live together. Yes, if you would remain in isolation forever, I could die now a happy man. Yet, why do you insist on distancing yourself from isolation to the very last? You ruined it. So it's all over. You desire. Your desire and Zack's, all of it, everything. I'll put an end. I'll put an end to them along with my own desires. And not and, Danny. Zack, please rip that gun from his hand and shoot him. Ugh. What just happened? Ha! <laughs> Reverend, you glorious bastard! What are you doing? I say, you have taken your indulgence too far. Shoot him in the face! I'm not finished yet! I must take care of them! Not on his watch. Daddy Reverend is come to the party. <laughs> Uh, oh, Zack, can you still move? <laughs> you bastard, say your fucking prayers! Save your strength for leaving this place! Mind your own beeswax! A human will die from this much blood loss! What's the point of going outside if she dies? Rachel Gardner is still quite alive! Yay! So we can still salvage all of this without murdering anybody. Take her outside now and she will be saved. What do you mean? Find out for yourself. Seriously, is this chick immortal or something? The building could collapse at any moment, Zack! Uh, yeah, alright, on top of it. Come on, let's get moving. You're a beast, Reverend! <laughs> And you lose, Danny. <laughs> Reverend, can you also come outside? I really don't want you to die in here. Like, I'm pretty sure Danny's done. Just get your ass out of here. Ah, oh, this place is no more. Tis an unexpected end to this tale. What you not say, Daniel? I'm going to still kill him. <laughs> Reverend, why? I admit it was selfish, but yes, it was for your sake too. Still, my actions were not a mistake in the least. It was for my happiness and my meddling in the matters of those who upset the laws of the building should have benefited you in some way. Oh, Danny, it was helpful indeed. I was able to observe something quite fascinating. I originally believed Zack to be a crystalline winged being. Those wings, however, have faded away. Crystalline wings? Did you truly think of him as an angel? Indeed. He was pure-hearted, and bloodshed was all he had ever known. Nonetheless, the blade Zack wielded for that very purpose came to serve another, and cons consequently, his blade was broken. Zack has lost his wings and is now human. Well, it is better to say he was human all along, perhaps. That's merely just a coincidence! What is more intriguing is that the one who showed me that was a child I condemned as a witch, Rachel Gardner. Ugh, Rachel? It was a radical transformation, and quite telling. And she was merely a selfish contradiction riddled girl. In hindsight, perhaps twas I who attempted to strip Zack of his humanity. Uh, if that's true, then why? Why did you shoot me? 
My monitoring and experiment have already run their course. My role as the eyes of God has ended, and this shall serve as my inconsequential atonement. Reverend, after all this time, whatever for? Danny, you are the one who brought that girl, desiring to bestow souls instead of reave them. Did you not attempt to become the god of that child? <laughs> Yet, Danny, you are not a god. And you always knew this, did you not? I... But what else is there for me then? When I saw Rachel's papers, they were unloving and full of such despair. I have to say, it's kind of ridiculous that in these final moments, he's still saying papers. <laughs> I long to shower those peoples with love for all eternity. It was then that my once insignificant life gained meaning again. I could accomplish anything and make it come true. But I can no longer love those peoples. I mean, if she isn't alone, who will love such an ugly wretch like myself? Oh, Daniel. By showering her with love, you would only desire to someday be loved yourself. No, that's not it. Yeah, it is, dude. You're just seeking love here, buddy. Danny, we are merely human. Oh, it seems humans were the only things here from the start. Reverend, you've had tons of time to get out of here, man. Don't die here. Yet humans create gods, angels, and even humans themselves. In fact, perhaps that was true for Rachel Gardner, and those who destroy them are human as well. Oh, Reverend, what is it you have seen within the humans here? Well, regretfully, what I always see, blindness, ugliness, and beauty. Nothing more. Oh, and Daniel. I feel the same can also be said of you. I only realize this now. Despite your staying here, being the longest, forgive me. <laughs> My time has drawn to an end. Now, now you choose to call me beautiful. Ah, indeed. Damn, that was lovely. How is Zack and Ray doing? Did Reverend call an ambulance? Like, what, what's waiting for us out of here? Hey, hang in there! We're almost outside. Don't go dying on me now. Can't give up just yet, Rachel. Not yet. If you're willing to sh shoulder the burden of the oath and stay alive, then you guys can stay alive together for as long as you need. Uh... Hey, we're outside. Is it just some random factory? Take her outside and she'll be saved. What do you mean by that? What am I supposed to do now? Get her to a hospital? I don't know. Hey, wake up. Ray, Ray. <laughs> uh, wake up. Are you just going to die on me? Don't die on us, Rachel. For fuck's sake. Open your eyes! Show us them peepers. Oh my god, he did call an ambulance! <laughs> Don't shoot Zack. I'm worried about that. He does look kind of shady. We have to admit that. So, and the bastard preacher said she'd be saved. Yeah, this is what he meant, eh? I hope they really don't misconstrue this. Well, this place did light up like the 4th of July. <laughs> so that's how it is, huh? Zack, hands in the air, please! Hands in the air, please! Zack, hands in the air! <laughs> ah, Ray, don't forget. I swore an oath to you. I will kill you. Okay, they're not shooting him. 
Is everything good? <gasps> it's our birdie! Lots of birdies, actually. This is a tall ass building. So the raised floor was actually underground, was it? Or... No, they're, all their floors had to be underground, right? No, no, they had to be all above. That makes sense. No, it doesn't. Because they did climb to get up. Oh! It's a church! Or a cathedral or something. Well, I guess that makes sense, given the type of people that were in there. Fly away, little birdie! Fly away. I wonder what we can do. Zach. Well, I mean, we can't do anything for him. We're at the end of the game. Right? It's our lovely little blue moon. I'm still not sure what the meaning behind this is. Date redacted. Rachel Gardner, a girl who vanished during questioning regarding the Gardner homicide, was found near a burning building in city redacted, state redacted, and taken into protect, uh, protective custody. Found accompanying her was Isaac Foster, a, a suspect presumed to be involved in a string of murders which have made headlines in the past years. This time, Foster was charged and arrested for kidnapping. And though he denies these allegations, he has gone on record to admit the murder allegations are partly true. Furthermore, the body of a man was found in the burnt remains of the building, though authorities are unable to identify it. Only one body. <laughs> Date redacted. Authorities are investigating the possible involvement of a new cult in the recent building fire, though an explosion at the time of the fire caused the building's basement to collapse, hampering progress. Furthermore, due to allegations against Isaac Foster as a suspect surfacing in the Gardner homicide, the case has now been reopened. They're going to pin Ray's killing on Zack? Can't she, she has to be awake, right? She needs to say something. Meanwhile, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Gardner, Rachel, who denied allegations against Foster for kidnapping, has been transferred to a rehab facility. So she did speak out, they just ignored her. Due to exhibiting signs of mental delirium, she is receiving counseling from a medical specialist. Date redacted. For the crimes of serial murder and kidnapping, Isaac Foster was sentenced to death. No! Don't you fucking dare! This does not get to end like this, right? I mean, we're cheering for his freaking serial killer, so... Uh, so, Rachel, is there anything you feel uneasy about? I don't know who this is. Oh, it's a psychologist, I'm guessing? No, not really. So, you're sleeping well at night, I take it? Yes. I see. Well then, that should be enough for today. My apologies for being late. I had a session with another child that ran over time. It's fine. I'll take you to your room. I can manage by myself. Uh, no, we can't just let you do that, can we? Sorry, but... Okay. Come along, Rachel. God, it just sucks to be this kid. Got bars on the windows. You're just as much a prisoner. As Zack is, although he is sentenced to death. Oh my, what a beautiful moon today. Right, Rachel? Isn't it a lovely night? Lovely night. 
Yes, on days like this, it's best just to hop right into bed. Sweet dreams await you. Gonna give me my medicine? I'm assuming I must take something being in a psychiatric place. Okay, let's go. Something has to happen. Am I going to kill the psychiatrist? What is it, Rachel? Nothing. I see, good. Yeah. She is so depressed. Rachel, are you scared? Uh, huh? Your condition has improved dramatically during your time here. The person who was with you. That killer. You're no longer obsessed with him like you used to be. They think she's Stockholmed. So, I'll tell you this just to put you at ease. It's sort of against the rules, but... What? That killer... He's dead? Is to be executed. You just broke her heart, man! What a horrible thing to do to somebody. I see. Is that so? No! Not the eyes! Yes, it probably came as quite a shock to you, though so now you could sleep with the peace of mind tonight. Yeah, that's what she's going to be doing. Yes. Well, let's get going then. You are an awful psychologist. <laughs> that's like something you wait to tell them. I said, you know what? I'm going to burden you with this information right before you go to bed. Now behave yourself and go to sleep, alright? Locked us in. Ugh. Ray. It's okay. Is something wrong with our leg? Oh no, with the knife. The truth is that my nights were always restless. How did they let her keep this? And my mind was uneasy. Tonight was supposed to be another sleepless night. Now it's just a shadow. Okay. This sucks. Don't, don't do anything bad, Rachel. It'll be... It, you can still move on. All I could do was shut my eyes. Okay, she's not stabbing herself. That's good. Roll credits. This uh, What is that? That sounds like a smashing! <laughs> No fuck away. No fuck away. <laughs> that sound, is it coming from the window? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Did this fucker break out of prison? <laughs> What's that sound, Rachel? Nothing. It, uh, it's not someone who works here. Then... What, what are we at? What did you just grab? Are we changing clothes? <laughs> oh, nope, we're moving stuff. Rachel, open up! There's only one person it could be. Hopefully. Actually, there's two people it could be, but I hope it's the one I'm hoping for, because that one is the more inclined to smashing. Ray? Rachel, what's going on in there? Oh no, I, I gotta call the police. Come on. Open the fucking window. Get back! I bet it is! It has to be! <laughs> it is! Hello, you wonderful son of a bitch! Ta-da! <laughs> you got a new scythe! And here, I brought a knife for you. Zack? Oh my god, dude, you're bleeding all over the place! What kind of extreme was smash in the window, didn't you? He even had his hood off for a second. <laughs> uh, 
Ah, oh, man! There you go again, making that bored face. Zack? How did... Huh? How did I what? Did you just headbutt the window open? I mean, you're supposed to be in prison. Prisons are made to be broken out of, right? But back then, I said I'd bear the outcome of your oath. Or our oath, whatever. So, what about it? I mean, it's not yours to bear anyhow. Zack, so you still want to kill me? Ah, this is me you're talking to here. I never lose sight of something that I want, right? <laughs> Hurry up! There ain't much time left. Or did you forget? No, Zack. I'd never forget. Not in a million years. I mean, it's an oath. An oath you and I swore together. Now that's more like it. Do I get that knife? Hurry, this way! Uh, come with me, Ray. Okay, okay. Don't leave the knife. Ready? Everyone push together. Hey, Zack. Please kill me. <laughs> then stop your that. Uh, stop your blubbering and smile. Did he kill her? Did they run off into the night together? What do we got here? Well, the orderlies are here. No body. Ooh, different... Different in credits, kind of. <laughs> oh, so wonderful. Oh, it's a compilation of all of the images from the previous episodes. They even have the cast back. Shot by Danny and the Bastard. Crazy promises. And the question of what became of them? <laughs> yeah, dang lovely ass game. <laughs> Come on, give us something here. No? Damn tease. <laughs> oh, that was wonderful! God, I love this game so much. It's just... I don't know. From the very beginning, it's just been kind of focused on the relationship between Ray and Zack, you know, becoming friends and everything. And I really appreciated that. It's had some very, very, you know, in-depth conversations about the concept of belief, whether in the religious or mental context, whichever you want to look at it from. And, I don't know, I think that's been very cool. Because it all kind of comes back to, like, this, you know, humanity and everything, like the Reverend was talking about. And all the characters had their own you know, desires and everything. Like, the Reverend wanted to... Let me take my headphones off so I don't have to hear the music. I mean, music's awesome, but just helps me concentrate better. But yeah, like, the Reverend was selfish because he wanted to, you know, fulfill 
like his godly duty or whatever you want to see it on her, you know, be God's eyes and see something new from humanity and all that. And you had Zack who just wanted to get out of there and everything. That was his own selfishness. And Danny wanted to be raised God and be loved by her, even if it meant not, you know, having her interact with anyone or be happy in the slightest <laughs> and stuff. He wanted to be the one stockholming her and everything and you had Kathy and Kathy's goal was just sadism really I think like she said some you know religious stuff like the rest of them but I, I really think Kathy's main motivation was just sadism and then Eddie you know he had his crush on Ray going so you know that was his selfishness and then Ray of course just wanted death and in the end I don't think that Ray really wanted to die. I think that's just become like their kind of personal phrase to define their friendship or something. I know it's weird, but I think that's how it's meant to be seen. I don't think in that final bit that they were running away just so he could kill her. Like, you know, he said for her to smile and all that, but I don't think he killed her there because we would have probably heard a sound effect or something. I feel like the people would have said something. I feel like we would have had some real inclination that he, um, you know, actually murdered her in that moment. So I, I don't know. Maybe that's my own personal hopes and selfishness of wanting them just to run off into the night together and be crazy serial killers until the end of time. But, you know, that's all I wanted to see it. So... I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think they ran off into the sunset or light set? Moonlight? <laughs> or do you think that he actually, you know, killed her there? Uh, other than that, I don't know. The ending, I like that I really enjoyed the finale. Like, I was thoroughly convinced that they were going to kill Ray there. And I was just, I thought it was going to go for like a Romeo and Juliet kind of ending where, you know, she is going to be like, we still have the knife. We can still do this killing me thing. <laughs> and so, but that he was going to, you know, take her life as they both like burned in the flames and all that. Like that would have also been a beautiful way to end it. But this one was more uplifting. So that's why I think I'm inclined to think that, you know, they just ran off together. Um... I'm curious, though, the blood that was covering Zack in the end, was that from his prison escape, or was that from trying to beat in those hard-ass windows? Because, I mean, he broke through all that debris and everything just fine. I don't think the <laughs> windows would give him too much trouble. I, I wonder, is there, like, a sequel to this or something? I don't think there is, because, like, I've looked at the creator's page and stuff, and I don't think there's a sequel. I know there's, a uh, like manga thing and stuff that they're currently in the middle of working on and stuff i think they're like three volumes into it or something but uh yeah i don't know i'm gonna i'm gonna look up and see what else i can find from this person because I, I really enjoyed that it was it was fun it was a good horror rpg game and i liked it hope you guys liked it too um Let's see. I'll figure out something. I, maybe this is where I'll put the Siberia games instead. Instead, because I was trying to have those following uh, my Science Gate. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> my Science Gate episodes, but we haven't. That hasn't been working out for me. So maybe this is where I'll stick the Siberia slots. So, yeah. Um, that's it for today's episode. Um,. I mean, that's it for this <laughs> series in general, so, you know, go find something else to watch, I don't know. But yeah, that's it, so like and subscribe if you guys want to, and thank you for watching.